So is the foundation worth testing? Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. I'm so excited for today's video because we're going to be testing out a new foundation from L'Oreal. And also I got a PR package full of a bunch of lip products that I also want to kind of test out today. The new foundation is the Infallible 24 Hour Fresh Wear Foundation. Now I did get this in PR, as you can see, this is the PR box, but all the shades that they sent me look like they're gonna be a little bit too dark. So I actually picked up another shade at Ulta. We'll see which one works out best for me. Um, this comes in 30 shades. I have this little paper here, so I'm gonna go ahead and kind of give you guys some specs on it and then do a wear test as always. I feel like there's been a lot of hype around this foundation. I'm personally really excited to try it because I love drugstore foundations. You guys know I love to find really good drugstore foundations. And I've seen a few people review it, but I haven't clicked on the videos because I didn't wanna watch it because I really wanted to see how I felt personally about this foundation. So apparently, oh wow, it says the formula's my microspheres create a thin veil of color on the skin. Once applied, the solvents evaporate, leaving a weightless second skin feel with coverage that lasts all day. This sounds very scientific. It's supposed to be waterproof, sweat resistant, transfer resistant, and the color stays true, which probably just means that it doesn't oxidize, which is great. It's available in 30 shades. Fresh wear is non-comedogenic. Comed I never know how to say that, but that just means it doesn't clog your pores. Um, it's formulated with an SPF and suitable for all skin types with a natural matte finish. Okay, let's do this. And then also I'll show you guys later. Um, we'll chat about these Rouge Signature liquid lipsticks that just launched as well. So I'm gonna kind of swatch to on my skin. I have 420, which is the one that I purchased and 440, which is one that they sent me. I just wanna see which one's gonna be better for me. I really appreciate the packaging already. There's a glass bottle with a really cool pump on the top. I love foundations that have a pump or a squeezy tube, either one of those I really like. So we're gonna be testing 420 first. This is the one that I picked up for myself. Just so you know, this is how I like to typically match myself with a foundation. It looks pretty good. As you can see, the color seamlessly goes down into my neck and that's kind of what you want to look for when shopping for foundations. This one has a little bit more of a warm undertone and as you can see, it doesn't blend into my skin or my neck as well. It would be something that I could probably wear and be fine with, but I think it's pretty clear that we need to go with the 420 shade. I'm just gonna kind of try to dab some of that off. I am going to use a primer to Today, I really just want to try this out the way that I would normally wear a foundation. I'm going to use products that I really trust though so that I know how the foundation is wearing. I'm gonna go ahead and apply a little bit of the Angel Veil Primer from NYX. I just take the tiniest amount of this and I focus this in the T-zone. So I don't really put it all over my skin. However, I did already moisturize my skin with just my normal skincare. So I do have lotion on the rest of my face, but this just kind of helps smooth out the pores in my T-zone. Okay, let's apply this foundation. I'm not really sure how much to use yet, but I'm going to use a little bit because I want to keep it lightweight. I want to keep it breathable, just like it says. So I don't want to really build it up too much. I'm going to start by pumping out one pump on the back of my hand though. And I know a lot of people do like a sponge on one side and a brush on the other side. I'm just going to apply it how I normally apply foundation. So I'm taking it on a brush first. And this is the Real Techniques buffing brush. And I'm just starting to kind of lay that on the skin. It does have a little bit of a scent to it, which I don't personally love because I can sometimes be pretty sensitive to fragrances and foundation, so I'm hoping that it does not break me out. But I'm just gonna go ahead and kind of lay this down all over the skin. I will say it's blending out really nicely. It feels really lightweight but there is coverage there as well. So once I feel like that's pretty evenly distributed, I'm gonna pump a tiny bit more on the back of my hand and pick it up with my beauty sponge. And we're gonna go back in over the entire face and press it into the skin. This is my favorite way to apply any foundation usually. It's very rare that this technique doesn't work for me with foundations. I find that I'm able to get the coverage that I want with a brush and then the finish that I want with a sponge. So this is just personally how I like to do it. I'm just going to continue to build on the cheek area. That's where I have the most redness. So that's where I like to have the most coverage. I'm noticing that it's kind of clinging to some of the dry patches on my face. My face is a little bit more dry than it has been in the past, just because I got a microdermabrasion treatment last week, which means that it was a pretty intense resurfacing to my skin. Plus it's very dry where I live, so I'm still trying to kind of hydrate it and let it heal completely. All right, so this is what it looks like all over the skin. I will insert a 
before and after with my skin completely blank and then with this fresh coat of foundation so you guys can kind of see the comparison. I'm gonna come up a little bit closer to the camera so you guys can see what this looks like initially. I really like the finish of it. I feel like it does look fresh. I'm noticing that it's kind of clinging to some of the dry patches on my skin. It's not crazy, but that's just something I wanna point out in case you're somebody who has a lot of dry patches usually. That might be something to take note of. Other than that, I feel like this is a very fresh foundation and if it's long wearing, this could be a really good drugstore find. So I'm just gonna go ahead and finish up my makeup and then we'll do our first little check-in in a little bit. So I will see you in a minute. All right, you guys, so I just finished my makeup and I really like like how it looked. Everything blended over top of the foundation really nicely. I did use a setting powder all over my foundation. That's just how I personally wear every foundation. So I wanted to kind of let you guys know that. I'm noticing that this foundation does feel really lightweight and there's also portions of my face where it's allowing my skin to still show through, which I like on an everyday basis. And I didn't use any concealer on the cheeks so that you guys can really see how it looks and how it's going to wear. I also tried to keep the under eye concealer pretty high up so that this area here on my cheeks is just foundation as well. Well, next I'm going to show you the lip colors because I also want to see how that's going to wear along with the foundation. This is the PR package that I received recently. It's for their Rouge Signature Liquid Lipsticks. Here is what the inside looks like. There are 12 shades. Look how fun. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to wear all 12 today, so I'm just going to pick one that matches this look best. I kind of have like a peach theme going on, but I might want to just do like a nude. Ooh, that's pretty. I think we're going to do this one or maybe this one. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see what this one looks like. This is in the shade 418 Empower. I'm going to kind of dab off the lip balm that I have on my lips. So they're nice and hydrated, but there's nothing underneath that's going to interfere with the formula of the lip color. All right, let's go ahead and put this on. This is supposed to be an ultra comfortable liquid lipstick with a non-drying feel. It provides a lasting matte finish, high impact color, and leaves an even stain. Okay, here's the applicator. It's kind of like a doe foot, which will hopefully help with the precision of the application. Okay, it's a very thin formula, but it's spreading really nicely. It's such an interesting formula. It actually reminds me so much of the YSL liquid lipsticks, which is interesting because YSL and L'Oreal are sister companies. So I'm really curious to see if this is a similar formula because that would be really ironic. As you can see, it hasn't dried down quite yet. So you have some time to work with it, which I really like. Sometimes it can get stressful if a liquid lipstick like dries down super fast. So already it feels more comfortable than a lot of liquid lipsticks. So I'm not gonna blot my lips together. I'm just gonna let that sit and dry. Really quickly, I wanna show you the before and after from when I first applied the foundation till now with my fresh makeup up on so you guys can see a comparison there as well. And let's do our wear test. It's currently 2.57 p.m. I'm gonna wear this as long as possible and I'm gonna try something new where I take you guys along and kind of vlog a little bit in between so you can see how it looks in natural light and things like that. But so far, so good. I think it looks really nice on the skin. I'm not sure if I'm initially as in love with it as I am with my Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation, but it could be a completely different formula to the point where I can't really compare the two. We will have to see how it wears and we'll find out. So I will see you guys in my next check-in. So this check-in is actually uh, much sooner than I thought it was gonna be. This is right after I filmed, I just open up the window so you guys can see what it looks like. In natural light, it actually looks better than my studio lights, I feel like personally. Um, I feel like it looks really smooth. It still looks like my skin. Um, so I wanted to show you guys what it looked like right after filming, right after application. And then I will kind of do these similar check-ins throughout the day so you can see how it wears and hopefully it will kind of, you know, wear well because so far it looks really pretty. All right, I tried to find good light in this house. It's currently almost eight o'clock, so it's like 7.50. So that means I've been wearing it for five hours about. Um, I feel like it's looking pretty good. I am noticing a little bit of separation around my nose, but I think I wiped my nose a couple times, so you can never really count on that with me. I just like subconsciously wipe my nose a lot. But I feel like the finish looks really nice. It's not looking overly oily or greasy. It just kind of looks fresh. What do you think, Tylan? I haven't asked you yet what you think of this Let's makeup. See. Hi guys. Um... The foundation. Yeah, you notice it's separating a little on my nose. On the nose, but, but I wiped it. But that's normal, right? Yeah. Wow. It looks pretty good though. It looks really good. How many hours has it been? Five. We still have a lot. We'll see more it at like time the to eight, wear it. maybe nine, even ten hour mark. Yeah. But I'm actually, uh, it's been looking good. Like I haven't. Wow. I haven't hated how it's looked, and Is I feel it, like if you're not really looking super close, like if you just kind look of, at me from far away, no, you look it looks, at me from far away, I look 
it pretty looks good. good. Yeah, like a little dewy. A little dewy. But in a good way. In a good way. Okay, yeah. well, well, we'll check back in later. I just want to show you guys under my kitchen lights with the trash bag in the back. Love that. Anyway, ooh. Oh my word, my hair. Hmm. This is why I don't do hair tutorials on my channel, my friends, because this is how it is all the time. All right, you guys, so it is currently about 2 a.m., so that means I've been wearing this foundation for around 11 hours, which is the longest wear test I've done in a long time. So I wanna kind of talk to you about the pros that I'm seeing, the cons that I'm seeing. The pros is as I look in the mirror, and I guess you can see as well, things are looking a little bit oily in the T-zone, but there's not too much crazy separation except for my nose, which I, I'm pretty sure I wiped that off myself. I'm actually pretty impressed at how well everything stayed on my face. It doesn't look amazing right now, but it doesn't look terrible either. And since I wore it for 11 hours, I mean, I feel like that says something about this foundation. Throughout the entire day, I also did not powder the T-zone at all, where typically in a normal day, I would powder the T-zone, which would probably make it look more fresh throughout the day. But I just really wanted to see and show you guys exactly what it would look like if I didn't touch it at all. So with that being considered, I feel like it could potentially look even better longer if I were to kind of check up and touch up a little bit with powder powder in the t-zone for me and my skin specifically at least i realized earlier that i forgot to tell you guys how much this foundation is it retails for $14.99 on ulta.com and then the lipsticks retail for $11.99 on ulta.com my hair is so crazy right now i was laying down on the couch watching tv but to be honest i don't hate how this looks i don't know if it's my all-time favorite foundation as far as wear time goes but i do know that i really did enjoy how it looked for the majority of the day today so i do feel like it's a good foundation it can take me several days sometimes to really get a full opinion on a foundation. Based off of my first impressions, I do feel like I'm gonna try this again. I might try it out in a different way and I might also try it out kind of powdering my T-zone throughout the day and maybe that would make it look even better than this. But I'm gonna put up a side-by-side -side comparison right here so you guys can see how it looked at the beginning of the day right after applying it and then right next to it is what it looks like right now so you can see the areas that wore off and what looks different. You guys know that I usually like to powder the T-zone when I come on camera so we can see how it looks if I were to touch it up at this point. So I'm gonna go ahead and take my Thrive Cosmetics setting powder, which is the powder I used earlier today, and I'm just gonna press that over the chin and through the T-zone a little bit right here. Did rub off on my nose a little bit, but I have problems keeping foundation on my nose usually anyway. As you can see, this is immediately taking away the shine and it doesn't look bad underneath. Hmm. Okay, wow, that's actually really impressive. That freshened up my makeup so much. It's not perfect around the nose, but again, it's been 11 hours and I've been touching my face and eating dinner and everything. But just powdering the T-zone on me really kind of refreshed the makeup and I feel like I could get so many more hours of wear just by doing that. So that's really, really good to know. So after doing that, I'm actually really impressed <laughs> with this foundation. And I do feel like if I were to have monitored my oil in the T-zone throughout the day, it would have looked really awesome. Awesome at the 11 hour mark. So that is really good to know. I really liked how lightweight this was. I liked how there was a buildable coverage. The shade was perfect for me. So I do think it's a good foundation. And now that I saw it being powdered, I'm really excited to wear it again because throughout most of the day, it looked really nice and smooth all over the skin. So, so far so good. I'm very impressed at how that touched up. Okay, so for the Rouge Signature Liquid Lipsticks, the formula is very unique. It's very lightweight and comfortable. I did feel like it wore off on my lips throughout the day really nice. That light color didn't necessarily leave a stain on my lips. I kind of wore a nude on purpose because I didn't really want strawberry stained lips tomorrow, but I do feel like I like the formula. I will have to try wearing a deeper color to see how that works. Maybe over a weekend sometime when I'm not filming. That way I can really see how the stain wears and what the stains look like on some of those deeper colors, but L'Oreal usually makes some really good lip products. L'Oreal makes really good lipsticks, mascaras, and a lot of good foundations in my opinion. So I'm rarely disappointed by L'Oreal's lip products and I will say the formula really does remind me a lot of the YSL liquid lipsticks. Maybe I'll have to do like a comparison and wear test and really see how they compare to each other because I'm kind of curious honestly. So is the foundation worth testing? I feel like it is. If you're looking for something that's going to be lightweight, breathable, give you pretty natural to full coverage if you build it up and something that will wear on your skin for a significant amount of time really really nicely especially if you powder the t-zone. I say yes. I would definitely 
definitely say to try this out if you're interested. I don't know if it personally tops the Physician's Formula Healthy Foundation in my book just because that's like my holy grail at the drugstore right now, but I'm definitely excited about it. I'm definitely gonna keep playing with it, and I do feel like it's a really nice, fresh, haha, <laughs> it is the fresh wear, but I feel like it's a fresh new addition to the drugstore foundation range or foundation options at the drugstore, I guess. 10 out of 10 on the packaging as well. I really love how it has a pump on it, and as of now, I do think I'm gonna keep wearing these Rouge Signature Liquid Lipsticks. I'm gonna have to get back to you guys on that, and also, if you see me pulling this out in future drugstore videos, you'll know that it is working for me. I will always update you guys if there's a product that I'm kind of not super familiar with, which happens a lot with these first impression videos, I will always come back and update you if it's something that ends up working really well for me. So that's all I have for you guys today. I love you so much. Thank you so much for always coming back to my channel and for watching my videos and for subscribing and for everything that you guys do. If you're new here, hi, my name is Ali and I love makeup, especially drugstore makeup, and I would love for you to join the family. You can do so by hitting the subscribe button. If you're already a subscriber, you can click on the notification bell after you subscribe and you'll be notified on Tuesdays, Thursdays, and Saturdays when I post my videos. Let me know in the comments below what you thought about this foundation. How did you think that it wore on me? Have you tried it yet? I know it's been out for a while, so maybe you've tried it. Let me know what your thoughts are down below in the comments, and I will see you guys in my next video. Love you. Bye!